So we came to our third part, to the last part. Uh, it is asked from us into exercise six to expand the prompts into complete sentences. So have a look at the prompts here. So listen to it. There are a number of advantages to children using the internet. To start with, it gives them access to chat rooms and emails, which are good ways to communicate with people. Moreover, there are a lot of educational sites which can provide information for school projects. Have a look at the prompts here, please. And let's see how do they form into complete sentences. On the other hand, there are also some disadvantages. To begin with, some sites are unsuitable for children. In addition, although chat rooms may be fun, you do not know who you are talking to. Let's proceed with six again, with the second part. Now write an appropriate topic sentence for each paragraph. It means the main idea, the first sentence, that if I'm going to read it, I know pretty well what, it is go what the paragraph it is going to be about. We have discussed about it many, 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 many times. So, for, uh, uh, for extract A, there are a number of advantages to children using the internet. And we understood why. And extract B. On the other hand, there are also some disadvantages. And now, as you uh, know, it is your turn. So I'm going to ask you to write down a for and against essay with this topic. So your teacher has asked you to write an essay on the pros and cons of using mobile phones. Write your essay, 140 to 190 words. Write about communication, health problems, and of course, to add your own ideas. So let's proceed with the keywords. The keywords are these. Teacher essay, pros and cons, so advantages, disadvantages of the usage of mobile phones, 140 to 190 words, communication, health problems, and your own ideas. Let's proceed with number seven, match the arguments to the justification. It is your work. You are going to do them. They are going to help you mainly in order to create the arguments and or are, as we said them, uh, the advantages and disadvantages into your topic. So you are going to connect uh, number one, two, three, four with A, B, C, and D. And then after that, uh, I want you to classify them as for and against arguments here. And then I want you to use phrases from the useful language that you have at page 85 to join the sentences below. After doing all these things, after doing all these things, then you are ready. Uh, you are ready. I'm sorry to write down your own essay. Please remember that your essay should always be into formal style. It is a for and against essay, and that's every kind of essay we have said that we need uh, formal style. Uh, don't forget your plan. To follow your plan, paragraph one to state the topic, paragraph a main body, uh, it, it is going to be consisted into two paragraphs. The first one, arguments for justification examples, paragraph three, arguments against justification and examples, and paragraph four to summarize arguments and to state your opinion. So the writer opinions it is asked here. Don't uh, forget to make use of the useful language that you have here. So intro, uh, the introduction section it is here, so how you can introduce your topic. Uh, so here to express uh, disadvantages, to express advantages, disadvantages, I'm sorry. And then listing uh, points, giving examples, so justification and to justify your, uh, let's say, advantages or disadvantages. And of course, to give your conclusion and your own uh, opinion. Uh, good luck. I'm going to write you down the deadlines and uh, about your homework and I'm going to send you into a written form. Uh, I hope that you are well into your health. Goodbye from me. See you next time.